Good morning, Wimsies. The first blessing we receive is waking up. We should always thank God for a beautiful day, waiting for us to do good things. I don't have a room for my own, so I sleep on a sofa bed in our living room. I have to arrange it every day so it won't be a clutter in our living room. I had a good sleep last night. I hope you had one too. Let the sun shine in. It brightens my mood and makes me feel more awake. I put flowering plants by our window. I hope that they bloom soon. Washing my face with cold water in the morning makes me feel fresh and ready to start my day. I use a Korean product for my facial wash. How about you? Before I start my work, I check my pets and plants outside. This is tofu and pochi. These are my inner plants. These plants need misting every day. They get to be pampered as soon as I wake up. So the vroom from cars and motors are heard every day. I need these chirping sounds to reduce the noise. Don't you love their sounds? This is our urban garden with herbs, vegetables, and ornamental plants. I am growing taro leaves, bitter melon, eggplant, and okra in our backyard garden since the home quarantine started. It's 10 a.m. I need to start working. Since the announcement of the pandemic and the implementation of the home quarantine, we were requested to work from home. I have been working from home for seven months. I miss wearing office clothes and putting on makeup, but I think that wearing house clothes is very comfortable.
I am a senior project manager for a customer support department. Most of my everyday tasks is to communicate via Skype, email, or conference meetings. It isn't hard to adjust with working from home, but I miss having seatmates and office mates to talk to. At the start of my work, I check my emails and Skype if I have pending messages to answer. And yeah, there is a lot to do today, but I can do this. I don't have a coffee maker at home, so I make my own coffee. I think it's better because I have options. I am lactose intolerant, so I skip milk or creamer. I use stevia as sweetener because it's healthier. I add virgin coconut oil because of its health benefits. Did you notice the plants on my workstation? I put them so I can relieve my stress while looking at them. I love the smell of coffee. Back to work. My brain will not work well if I don't have coffee yet. Mornings will also never be complete without it. I love coffee, so I like medium to dark roast. But I only consume one cup per day, so it won't trigger hyperacidity. Do you also love coffee? Every day is a lot of work. It's tiring, but I'm blessed to still have a job during this pandemic. So, fighting! What makes you motivated to work? Working from home gives so much mental and physical stress.
but it also gives plenty of time to be with family, pets, and plants. My sister cooked today's lunch. It's roasted chicken with herbs and gravy. I spend my lunch break watching K drama series. This can also reduce my stress and enjoy my lunch. During this break time, I prepare food for our dogs and my mom feeds them. I'm giving them liver and beef loaf today. We have five dogs to feed. Do you hear them so excited to eat? Before I go back to work, I make sure that the dining area is clean because my workstation is in our dining room. It also helps to reduce distractions while working if the area around you is neat and clean. My sister and cousin also works from home. There are days when we eat together. There are days when we don't because of our work schedule. So it's already our agreement to wash our own dishes after eating. Today, I ate alone because they are still working. But since my workstation is in our dining room, I can talk to them if I'm not in the mood. In. Working from home requires time management, not only for job tasks, but it also includes household chores. No other people will do it for you, so you'll have to do it. I'm sure that others do more household chores than me. I always have meetings for the house show until uh, the day it's ongoing and they have a movement happening right now. Uh, they, are, um, they are supposed to complete everything. You would probably think that my job is boring, but there are days when there is so much pressure. You won't just notice it because I have to be calm and graceful. Being a project manager is not an easy job. I have to be assertive yet reasonable. I have to make decisions and consider stakeholders. I have to finish the project on time. But what I love for being a project manager is the rewarding feeling when the project gets completed and the stakeholders are happy. Since I have so much work to do, I eat afternoon snack or merienda while working. I am having rice cake or biko. This is one of my favorite local snacks.
I am also having a probiotic milk, but this doesn't irritate my stomach, so I'm fine with this. It is indeed a very productive day for me. This is a Friday, yet I do a lot of emailing. It's because my project will launch in the next five days. It's exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time. This is also my time to drink more water. I tend to forget to drink water when I'm very focused at work. After a long day of work, I get to cuddle our dogs. They know that I need this too. It is raining today, so I decided to cook Korean noodles for dinner. Don't you think it's perfect for the weather? This packs ribs too, but I think I can finish this. I know that this food is not healthy, so I'll add bok choy leaves to make it a healthy food. Do you add vegetables to your ramen? What is your favorite ingredient? The rest of my day is for watching K-drama. I miss going to Korea. I have been there for seven times. This year should have been the eighth. But because of the pandemic, I cannot go. Shower time before bed. Because I had so much food today, I'm having tea for good digestion. It's a mix of ginger, tarragon, lemongrass, and peppermint. All these came from our garden, and I dried them during the day. My bedmate, Pochi, is already sleeping. Tomorrow is another fighting day. Good night, Winsies.